Hi, everybody. Welcome to Three Minutes of Something, where we take about three minutes and we talk about something. Can I, I'm going to need two volunteers. I'm going to take my three minutes semi-seriously today, so I'm going to move pretty quick. Two volunteers. All right. Isaac, Zach, thank you for volunteering. Could you do me a favor? Take, like, a few steps behind those chairs and get the lights so that everybody can see what's about to happen. I, I have a little bit of a challenge. I have a question before they're getting ready. Has anyone ever walked into a room and then completely forgot what you were doing? Yeah. Yeah. Like every, basically every door is uh, is like, it's possible that I go through that door and I'm gonna completely forget what's gonna happen, except the refrigerator door, I usually know what's going on there. But uh, all the time, where I'll like open my computer and be like, what was I looking for? Like I'm pretty generally good at finding folders and like, cause I have a meticulous system, but sometimes I just like completely forget where I was going. And it's very frustrating. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit tonight, but as a church, as a group, why that matters. So guys, could you take, as Isaac, take like three steps that direction. This is what I like to do, look at each other. This is a, a battle, a battle of wit, a battle of strength. Um, you can turn your bodies toward each other too, that's what I meant, thank you. This is what you're gonna do. Um, you are going to raise your hand 20 seconds and you're gonna see who can take the most high steps in 20 seconds. You know what I'm talking about? Like, like, real, like get those knees way, way up, okay? Um, I'm gonna need, Craig, would you count uh, steps for Zach? And Elijah, would you count steps for Isaac for me? All right, you just need to count. You two gentlemen are gonna do this. Okay, ready? This is, a, but, but you can't be distracted by the competition, so I need you to look straight up and close your eyes. Look straight up, close your eyes, ready, set. Look straight up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the ceiling, go with your eyes closed, raise it, go. High step, high step is, uh, faster, 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 high step, look straight up, How faster, faster, high, higher, higher, and faster, and look straight up, higher, and faster, and faster, and higher. <laughs> oh my goodness, are you counting? You guys look really cool, don't worry about what you look like. Okay, okay, stop, 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 stop. I don't know, that's probably like 10 seconds. Uh, wait, don't move yet, don't move, go back to where you were, go back to where you were. How many steps, how many paces away do you think you are from, your, from where you started? Yeah, I, I think you may have adjusted a little. You kind of moved away and then came back. It's like you went out, you went a mosey. You moseyed. Uh, and it took you like 10 seconds. Imagine how far you would have gotten an hour. Like, in like two, you'd have been at Chick-fil-A, basically. <laughs> Done with, just by a couple hours. You guys can never see. Thank you for, for playing. Um, we are very good at, at what you might call mission drift. What I've heard, a book that I'm looking at called Mission Drift. Drift happens to every person, organization, everything we try. We will get distracted. We will accidentally drift away from what we're trying to do. So like, why does that matter to the church? Why does that matter to what we're talking about right now? Uh, I brought up the verse on my phone, which I gave away, but uh, Matthew 28, 19 and 20. Have you ever heard, does, do those verses mean anything to you? Does anyone know what that scripture reference is, like that address? Does anybody in this group know here? In the grown-ups, no? Matthew 28, 19. Oh, we just talked about it, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. 28, 19 is what Jesus is commissioning the, the disciples. And he says, I'm going to leave, and when I go, this is what you're going to do. This is your mission. He called it the Great Commission, or we call it the Great Commission. He commissioned them to, therefore, go and make disciples. That's what he told them to do. Therefore, go and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them in my way. And he said, like, I'll be with you as you do that. So there's some, like, interesting language stuff there. Um, I I'll tell you, three minutes is, it's in some. Um, so in that language, you know, like, if I were to say I have a big, blue, fancy car. You know three things about my car, right? You know that it's large, it's blue, it's nice, it's fancy. Oh, yeah, it's a Tesla. Autopilot. Exactly, exactly. It's a Tesla, yes. Big blue fancy car, you know three things about my car. That is exactly what's happening here in the Great Commission. He says, therefore go, the way that, the, the, that we do it in English is a little confusing, but the Greek that it was originally written in, that Jesus like spoke it, not confusing at all. He said, therefore go and make disciples, baptizing them and teaching them. He said three things about one thing. The one thing, grammatically speaking, is make disciples. He said, make disciples. You'll do that by going, therefore go. And by baptizing, baptizing them in the name of the Holy Spirit, the, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them in my ways. So he basically is, def like I define my car as big, blue, and fancy. He's defining disciples as, or discipling as going, baptizing, and teaching. And that is our mission as the church. That was the disciples' mission, and that is our mission. And this has been a huge reminder for me, and I want to remind you as well. 
Because there's this weird thing that happens in this group where like, it's, it's our group's mission. And then when you join the group, it's your mission. <laughs> you know, like we talk a lot about inviting your friends. We want you to get people in this room to share the experience that you're having. And once you are a part of this room, whether you've been here for years or, you know, a couple weeks, you've been trying it out. It's you now. You are this group. And you have a mission now as well to go and make, go baptize and teach people. And when you do those things, you are making disciples, which is the mission that Jesus gave us to do. And we can't drift away from that mission because it's so easy to get distracted by other things. It's easy for me to get distracted by streaming to an online audience, to by, you know, the many different things we do. It's all about one thing. And, I, and when I get confused, I need to remember it's about one thing. Make disciples. Jesus said, make disciples. Who make disciples? That's the one thing. That's the thing that matters. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much that we get to be a part of your mission, that we get to be a part of what you're trying to do with humanity, that we get to help people find you. So, Father, I pray that you would remind us when we get confused, when we get uh, distracted, that you would remind us that you called us to make disciples, period. That's all you asked. Go, baptize, teach people, and when you do those things, you are making disciples, and that is our job. And we do that in hand in hand with our creator. So thank you that we get to be hand in hand as we bring people to you, for you, by you, through you. It's all about you. We thank you that we get to be a part of that. And I pray that you would help us not to get distracted from that one thing that you've asked us to do. In your name we pray. Everybody said, Amen. Amen. Amen.